All right, Lindsay, kind of a rebound win. I know Sunday at Oregon was kind of rough. Um, you did it without my tour tonight. How did this one feel? It feels really good just to get back on our feet with a win. Um, we really had to come in and work on our defense. That was something that we focused on yesterday in practice. And um, in the first half, you know, I don't think we were there on defense. We weren't getting done what we wanted to do. And at halftime, we talked about just being more, having more drive to get the get the stop on defense, uh, pick up our defense. So I think that was the difference in the second half, and that's why we won. For you personally, first career start, you come off kind of fast, score nine quick points. How'd this one feel on a more personal note for you? It felt great. It was really exciting. Um, I'm just happy that we got the win. <laughs> Tegan, you missed some time there, obviously, with the concussion-like symptoms. Uh, came back over the weekend. How does it feel to kind of be back in the swing of things? Yeah, it feels really good. Obviously, no one wants to be out, and so especially senior year. But uh, yeah, it feels good. I think the team is uh, has made some really good adjustments since I've been back, and it's uh, great. Tonight, you had a pretty decent game, and first game back in Frost for you in a while. How that one feel? Yeah, it was good. I thought the team played pretty good offensively. I really picked up in the second half, kind of how, what Lindsay was saying, and I thought our defense was really, again, good in the second half, and we made some good adjustments at halftime, and yeah, had a good W. Going back to that first half, they've struggled a little bit so far this season. Do you feel like that was more you or them, what they were doing either right or what you guys were maybe doing wrong in that first half to keep it close? Yeah, it's hard to say. I think uh, we came out and lacked a little bit of urgency, a little bit of energy, and so uh, I think that was definitely part of it. And so we made some adjustments at halftime, talked about what we needed to get done, and then um, came out with a lot more energy for the second half. You both have mentioned it, but Lindsay, what changed at halftime to allow you guys to kind of pull away there toward the end of the third quarter? I think just our mentality. We needed to come out and work harder to get things done. It's not going to come easy. We have to box out. We have to play good on the ball defense, and we just weren't getting it, getting it done. And so I think our mentality is what changed. All right, good game. I thought we played really hard throughout. Um, at times, we were really good defensively and played with the uh, kind of urgency we need to. Uh, they did a good job. Chattanooga just making threes, you know, to hang in there. It seems like every time we'd get some separation, they'd make some threes. Certainly in that second quarter, that was a big part of it. Uh, but third quarter, we really defended well. That was our best quarter, I thought, overall. Uh, it's sometimes funny how when you really defend well, your offense seems to be better, too. And, and those two things went hand in hand that third quarter, and we got some separation there. But team played really hard, really proud of that. I need to find that urgency, I think, for a little more consistency. Uh, but really good to see Tagan play well. I thought this was her best game so far of the year. Uh, not just because she, she shot the ball well, but she had eight assists. And we really need that forward position to create offense for the team, not just for the, uh, themselves. Uh, Peyton had some good inside out passes that led to threes. And so, you know, those two together I thought had a really good connected game. And then our perimeter players made shots and, and did what they need to do as well. So it was a good game for us. Obviously playing without my and Tori tonight, that probably had to make you feel good that you could come out here and beat this team. Absolutely. You know, we've had to use a lot of different lineups, you know, and that's, that's hard for everybody. Getting comfortable in your role is really important. Um, there's maybe one or two players on the team that have been in the same role from day one. You know, most of them had to move and play multiple positions. And we've had a lot of different starting lineups. Uh, but I'm just, I just proud of how everybody's responded. It seems like we keep asking people to uh, slide to different positions or change their role, and everybody's just responding well to it. But our, you know, our calling card has got to be just how hard we compete defensively. That, that's where we've been really good this year. Um, and we need to you know, maintain that for 40 minutes. Uh, but, but how we've had to shift people around, play through some injuries and adversity, um, you know, that's not easy to do when our team deserves a lot of credit for, for how well they've handled that. If I recall early in the week, you mentioned that when you watch this team on film, they are better than their record would indicate. What kind of stood out to you that played out here tonight that made you think that this team is better than what their um, You're asking about Chattanooga being better, or yeah. Uh, I just think their ability to make plays. I mean, you saw they were hard to guard individually. They have people that can get by you off the dribble. Uh, they have a lot of people that can make threes. Um, and there were times in this game that, I mean, it was a, a toss-up, you know, as to, to how it was going to go. And it's their ability to just beat you off the dribble and enough three-point shooters out there. Um, but but I think to our credit, in that third quarter we really defended well and kept that penetration out of the lane and. and uh, turned a lot of those defensive stops into transition. So really good quarter for us on, on both sides of the ball. You mentioned it a little bit in your opening statement, 
couple standouts tonight, Lindsay being one of them, her first start. What did you think of how she played? I thought she played great. You know, her first quarter was phenomenal. You know, I'm sure she had some some nerves or some 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 good positive kind of energy that goes with that first start. And I thought she handled it great. She played with tremendous effort the whole game, played a lot of minutes, 38 and a half minutes. Uh, made shots for us, took care of the ball, created some offense. Uh, she really did good. And you know, we're asking you know her to do a lot. She's picking up full court man to man. She's uh, having to score for us some, and, and she really did well in her, her first start. And going back to Tegan, obviously she played well tonight. She's been out for a little while, came back over the weekend. How important is it for her to play well, especially considering the injuries you guys have right now? Well, we're going to need Tegan to play well going forward. You know, she's a senior. She's been in a lot of big games, a lot of big moments. Uh, should have the experience and poise that it takes to win tough games uh, at home or on the road. I think she's still settling into, you know, her role, and, and certainly being injured didn't help her at all. It was a tough injury because she really had to just be inactive during it. Uh, you know, so she's really had since then probably three, maybe four practices and a couple of games. Uh, so she's still getting into, I think, game shape again and then just her, her rhythm. But today was great because she not only made shots and found ways to score, but she was really helpful at creating offense for others. And that's where we need her. You know, we, don't, we want Tegan to be a uh, you know, focal point of what we do. Uh, and I believe she's, she's going to be really good at it as we go forward. I would assume you agree with me. It seems like you've been on the road a lot here to start conference, but now you get three in a row at home, obviously one tonight. How important is it to take care of? home court advantage here while you have a little bit of it. Yeah, absolutely. These are all tough games. Tonight was a tough game. Uh, the next three coming up, two at home, one on the road, are incredibly difficult games. Games we can play well in and games that you know our opponents can play well in. So we've had a tough schedule. I, I can't remember. I think the last one I saw, we're somewhere in the top 20 in terms of strength of schedule here so far. Um, that's tough, okay? That, that's really hard. And, and to your point, a lot of them have been away from Frost Arena, whether it be neutral site or, or uh, you know, going on the road to somebody's home gym. Uh, and our team has really weathered that, I think, really well, despite all the you know, injuries and different lineups and everything else we've gone through. So I'm really pleased with where we're at. Uh, but these next few games will really you know, tell us uh, exactly where we're at, because they're going to be tough games, and we need to try and, and play well here at home.